Welcome to first time watching, today I'm going to explain a Turkish decent comedy drama movie released in 2023 titled, O oh Belinda. Dilara appears in a music video that is launched at the start of the film. She is officially the movie industry star, and nothing can stop her from rising, according to the song video. She is ecstatic about what she has accomplished thus far. Serkin is her boyfriend, and they are very in love with one another. He always lets Dilara know that she is the love of his life, despite the fact that she has suspicions about his having an affair with Arzu, her business rival. Dilara receives an invitation to appear in a shampoo commercial for the Belinda brand. The script she receives makes her laugh aloud because it features a detailed scene starring a housewife named Hondon who finds comfort and tranquility after a stressful day at work while bathing her hair. Delara thinks the concept of the advertisement is absurd because there is no reason why the brand would want to incorporate a lengthy narrative. When she learns that abandoning the advertisement would be expensive, she makes an attempt to stop, but she persists in finishing it. This does not alter her character, as she seems me as someone who is both proud of her place in the film industry and aware of her ability to work hard. Delara believes she is a talented person, and she won't allow anyone to make her feel guilty about her accomplishment. Delara is furious with the male actor who will be appearing alongside her while she is on the commercial shoot. He has an unsettling touch. The ad director worries that Delara won't get it right as she gets ready for a significant bathroom scene in which she is seen washing her hair with Belinda shampoo. Finally, the director goes into great detail about what he wants her to accomplish in the role of Han Don, the star of the commercial. Finally adopting the persona of the character, Delara follows the director's instructions, washing her hair completely while closing her eyes. She opens her eyes to discover that she is not on the set of the commercial but rather in another location. Delara is unsure of what transpired, but she must determine whether there was a change in venue that she was unaware of. Delara notices she is at someone else's house as soon as she opens her eyes. She doesn't know how she got there, and the location seems alien to her. Delara doesn't understand how she ended herself here after being on the other set. She is having trouble making sense of what just happened to her. Delara is aware that she needs to return to her set as soon as she enters this house. She begins to be addressed as Hondon by Nekidi, her on-camera spouse, and they begin speaking as if they had been wed for a long time. It appears to be a well-planned practical joke on Delara, who is unsure of what is going on. Nekidi is adamant that they are wed and have been for a long time, she has been Hondon's wife. With the change in the scenario, Delara is not adjusting as swiftly. In an effort to gain clarification from Serkin, she rushes to him. But, it turns out that he does not recognize her and that he is currently wed to Arzu, her rival. She has just entered Serkin's house and to him, she is an invader. Delara's life has taken a complete turn for the worse, and there is no way for her to return to the time when she was a well-known actress. Also, she eventually runs into several of her film industry colleagues, but nobody knows who she is. Delara eventually returns to her husband, Nekidi, who has no choice but to just have sexual relations with her. She is the most attractive lady he has ever seen in his opinion, and he finds himself constantly reaching out to touch her. She is extremely terrified by this, and Delara must now use her position as Hondon to ensure that Nekidi is kept at a distance. She has two children with this husband, and she is aware of the fact that she now has more challenges because, as Nekidi's wife, she is supposed to be a homemaker who looks for the family and the home as well as the children. She has assimilated into the typical household and has no idea how to escape it. She struggles to deal with the kids, her husband, and his family because they are all bugging her nonstop. She explores a number of solutions in her quest to escape this situation, but she ultimately comes to a standstill. She quickly learns that Han Don, as indicated in the post, also works for a bank, and when she arrives to her place of employment, she discovers that she is having an affair with Akif, her supervisor, and her brother-in-law, there. Delara observes as Hondon learns that Akif and her have embezzled a sizable sum of money from the bank, and he is expecting her to return it. 
As everything that has happened to Delara thus far has impacted her memory, she is unsure of where the bag has been kept. In her bedroom, she discovers some cash, which she decides to keep for herself because, well, why not? Delara is aware that the only way she can rejoin Sergin is to contact him and join the acting world once more because this is what she has always loved. When she first meets Sergin, she discovers that he is in fact a playboy who will sex her without thinking twice. She takes advantage of the chance to introduce her to the theatrical company, where she ends up giving a standout audition. Delara, as Hondon is known, is delighted to have entered her sphere of interest and begins devoting a lot of time to the play's rehearsals. Delara is aware that returning to acting would allow her to improve her relationship with Sirkin. Sadly, Delara encounters an accident that results in her car harming public property. She is ultimately given a warning by the police for the mishap, and as a result, she is unable to attend the play's final dress rehearsals. She lost a significant role because of her accident, which would have been another opportunity for her to establish her acting prowess. When she arrives at the performance location on the day of the play, she is informed that a junior has taken her spot. Delara is furious with her misfortune and rushes to the corniche with a bag of cash she had received from Akif. She throws the cash up there for everyone to enjoy. Money that represented the corrupt version of herself is no longer there. The rain is pouring down heavily in the city at the final scene and Delara is content knowing that the money is gone and she will likely have to accept this existence after all. Delara opens her eyes to see that she is back on the ad set and that everyone there is familiar with her while the rain continues to fall on her. Even though Delara is unsure of what happened, she is back to her regular routine and finds that everything is precisely as it was before she went. She feels relieved to have survived what felt like a nightmare. She still cannot comprehend what transpired or why her body and mind led her to the other side of life. Considering that the director explained the entire event rather thoroughly just before she entered the scene, it is likely that she was dreaming the entire scenario, which caused her to enter a realm similar to what the advertisement describes. Thanks for watching till the end. Please subscribe to the channel.